Ukraine's economy has rebounded since the start of the invasion, though it is still significantly below pre-war levels. Now, many businesses that move their operations out of conflict-ridden zones have started afresh elsewhere in Ukraine. Others adapted their businesses to wartime needs. CNA's Lim myung has more. This clean tech startup uses recycled coffee grounds to produce eco-friendly disposable cups and scented candles. Rakava was set up by two men, Yuri Tustanovsky and Dimitro Bidyuk, four years ago. Not here in this room in the tech hub of Lviv in western Ukraine, but in Sumy, a region in the northeast bordering Russia. It came under attack the day the full-scale invasion began on 24th of February 2022. We moved uh, with the truck here in Lviv uh, without colleagues and without uh, some uh, uh, other facilities. Uh, and uh, after two or three weeks staying here, we decided we should do this uh, to Lviv and uh, continue to work uh, in new city, uh, what we can do. Like themselves, all members of their new team were displaced from regions of heavy fighting. They created a line of candles to remind Ukrainians there is light in dark times. And to bring comfort through the familiar sense of home. The candles are a bright spot for Recover, which has seen total sales nearly double since the invasion. The founders want to contribute to war efforts, even if they are not on the front line. The only wish is uh, war, uh, the victory. And if you are not in the army, you should do what you can for Ukrainian economy, uh, because we pay taxes, we pay salaries, and um, if it helps our employees and families uh, to, to live a normal life. The city of Lviv, the largest in Ukraine's west, has become the main hub for relocating businesses seeking to escape the worst of the fighting. A lot of companies relocated, mostly from center of Ukraine or east of Ukraine to, to our city. And some of them was here for one month and coming back to their cities. Some of them stayed here and like to, to open here, like some branches uh, started. He says among the 1,000 companies or so that moved here, about 100 remain. He wants to help grow high-tech firms that can contribute to the war and post-war recovery. Especially so it's med tech, it's defense tech, uh, it's uh, agri uh, food tech. Uh, our idea to, to pay for some research and to, to some invention. In the heart of Kyiv, it's hard to believe the country has been at war for two years. It's business as usual for many Ukrainians who are going about their daily lives. This bespoke menswear studio in capital Kyiv is one of many businesses that stood firm in the face of attacks. Yes. Impochiv's owner, Katrina Vozianova, fled to Lviv with her two children for two months when the war broke. She came back because this is home. But the war took away her staff. We have uh, several employees that came to the war. They volunteered. Um, and, uh, we have a lot of employees who have left uh, abroad and they never came back. Uh, so uh, the, the beginning of the war was very challenging for us because our team is the most precious thing we have. Imposhiv drew up a new range of military-inspired classics that are more in line with the times to keep the business afloat when the market for luxury tailored suits shrank following the invasion. Demand has since rebounded and now they're designing suits for frontline soldiers to wear on their wedding day. We will tailor uh, 12 bespoke suits, one, uh, one in a month. For those guys it will be free of charge. And it's the way we express our gratitude to them for everything they're doing to us. Ukraine's homegrown businesses have had to adapt to wartime, but they're ironing out the kinks, innovating and even contributing to the war machinery by bolstering Ukraine's economy. Real GDP is expected to grow by 3.6% this year. Lim Yansuk, CNA, Kyiv.